Uh, good morning and welcome to Alan Brazil Sports Breakfast on Talk Sport with Ford. Alongside me, Mickey Quinn. The Alan Brazil Sports Breakfast <laughs> on Talk Sport. Seven after six o'clock. Quinny, how are you? I'm very well. Oh, good yeah. morning to you. Good morning, Great Britain. Can I just say how uh, desperately sad I am and you are? Yeah. Um, with the news, Walter Swinburne passed away. Well, do you know what? Al? What a year it's been for celebrity, uh, sportsmen, musical heroes, and, and their deaths this year. 2016 took so many talented people this year, and this was just another one. Uh, Walter Swinburne, um, a jockey that. Do you know what? When I seen him, 19 winning on Shergar, I thought, sublime. I thought he was going to go on out and be one of the probably true greats of, of racing, but his weight got the better of him a little bit, and uh, he didn't quite fulfil that, but brilliant jockey, absolute brilliant jockey. The choir boy's nickname was. Um, his I, youthful looks, you know, even when he was 19, he looked about 10. When I heard the news <laughs> this morning, Quinny, was I very surprised, if I'm being honest? No. Right, I was with well, Walter. He's only 55. Wasn't I was with him a few months ago. Um, he's living up near the anyone who knows London, up near the Carlton Towers, uh, Mayfair, Belgravia, around there. Uh, bumped into Will, uh, Walter outside a top, real nice bar restaurant. I said, "Come and join us! Come and join us!" And he did. He came in, but um, it wasn't the Walter that I knew yeah. all those years ago. He had a bit of a uh, this is horrible, but he had a bit of a black eye. So he clearly. So, something wasn't right, Quinny. Yeah. So, and, uh, and a couple of good friends I was with, one in particular knows him very well, said, yeah, what was not having a good time at the moment? No. He's not he's not well. So, A, I nearly, I, I nearly hit the brakes in the car. I thought, I don't believe it. And then, I, then as I drove on, I thought, crikey, yeah. He didn't look fantastic. So I'm really, I'm shattered by that news, to be honest. Yeah. really am. But his, his career... Will be uh, defined uh, with his time at Michael Stout's in uh, yeah. Pilsudki in the Breeders' Cup. The brilliant Shager. What I thought he made look easy was the connection between a jockey and a horse. Seamless. Horses ran for him, Al. They mm. jumped out on the bridle. They were enthusiastic. And it, it wasn't hard work for him to push them. They naturally ran for him. Yeah. And I think that's probably the... The best, uh, the hands that he had, and uh, you know, let's not forget Shadow Stanley. The best as compliments, well. yeah. I mean, yeah. he rode so many great horses to beat the great Dancing Brave at such a young age as well. Mm. And like I said, he's he was a top top jockey, and uh, Rachel will miss him. We really will. No, I'm I'm really upset to be honest.